So the brief that they gave us wasn't specific to a medium. It was, it was quite open in terms of what we could give back to them in terms of an idea. Um, so we wanted to create something that obviously drives participation at a very high level. So we came up with what would probably be one of South Africa's largest digital interactions. There are better ways in today's world to drive participation than just doing a TV ad or developing a print ad. So, so we obviously went from that platform as like, what is the best way people can interact with the brand and have a conversation with it? <clears throat> so a large-scale digital projection with people having fun playing with the brand seemed like a sort of logical conclusion to that. Um, yeah, so it's just something different. What we came up with was a, a virtual race, which was three cycles, and people raced their avatars up the side of the building. Well, in our case, a screen on the side of the mall. And everyone won prizes. Um, it ran for two hours on the 22nd of March, and the turnout was actually quite astounding. We promoted it online via online channels. We used the Jungle website, we used social media, and obviously traditional media outside of that. So outdoor posters and street poles and other such things. And there was radio driving it as well. well there was traditional media driving the campaign, but the event itself was very untraditional. An integral part of our background is obviously Adrian Strong the creative side and I have a strong production background both from an agency and a production house perspective so um, production is production and ultimately whether it's an activation or a 30 second TV spot I guess the only difference is that one you're able to pause during the shoot day and the other one is kind of all systems go it's once it starts you can't stop it and that's the way we approached it. Using that kind of expertise allows us to play in sort of areas that maybe perhaps other people aren't playing in. So we will go for the ideas where, you know, like that kind of activation. And at the same time, we might develop an above the line TV commercial like we did for Discovery last year. Um, but generally, the place we like to play in is driving participation, getting people involved with the brand and, and talking with it, you know. And I think digital is a huge part of that. Media fragmentation and the way in which our industry has changed over the last few years. I think clients are looking for different solutions from different people. I don't think they are putting their eggs all in one basket at the moment. And I think um, of, that leaves a certain degree of uncertainty in the air, but I think ultimately they're just looking for the best solution for the project. Um, that's good for small guys like us. I'm not sure how good it is for the big guys, but when you're smaller, you kind of are able to work faster and you're a bit more manual. I think certain clients want ideas faster and they want them to be sort of, you know, they don't want to have to wait three or four weeks maybe for a brief to go through a system, go through traffic, go through strategy, go through client servicing and eventually end up on the CD's desk. I think what they're looking for are expediency when it comes to ideas and delivery, I think. So I think there's a lot of changes afoot, and I think you can see that from the number of small agencies that have sprung up in South Africa at the moment. So I don't think it's just us that is sort of thinking the same, the same thing. I think it's quite widespread. Um, but I think ultimately all of this affects us in terms of uh, it leads to better creativity because all of us will try harder at the end of the day because business is at stake and I think we're going to have to do better work. So I think that's a good thing.